Listen, not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much Henny, my shoot up. Yo. What's good, YouTube man? It's Clutch. We're back out with another video, man. Today's video, I got you guys with this rare two-way slasher build in NBA 2K23. Now, as you guys know, man, I do got you guys with another rare build. I see you guys have been liking them, so I got you guys with this rare two-way slasher build. This was a pretty popular video of mine back in 2K20, so I figured I might as well show you guys how to make it. It actually is a pretty solid build. And I wanted to tell you guys, man, as you guys know, you guys are gonna be seeing this video on May 17th. As you guys know, May 19th is the start of season seven. So as of season seven, as of Friday, I am gonna start dropping you guys the best season seven like point guard center builds and stuff like that so we're gonna take a break from the rare builds i'm gonna give you guys the best builds as a season seven after this video so i just want to throw that out there and make sure you guys are aware of that but now let's get on to this two-way slasher build so we are gonna be making the build a shooting guard you could probably make it point guard too i'm pretty sure you can you could probably even make it small forward i'm just gonna go shooting guard if you want to go another position you can and then obviously this other stuff does not matter that's personal preference all right man now moving on to the height with this build you're probably thinking let's go six foot nine unfortunately i get this two-way slasher build name you cannot go six nine the tallest you can go is actually six eight i think six seven six eight is definitely a good height for this build personally i decided to go six foot eight and the weight we're going middle weight because we do want to be as fast as possible and then the wingspan now to be able to get this two-way slasher build name your three-pointer cannot be higher than a 79 so obviously if it can't be higher than a 79 why wouldn't you put your wingspan max so we're maxing the wingspan out to seven foot six and then obviously body shit does not matter i'm just gonna pick build all right y'all man now moving on to the attributes for this two-way slasher build man make sure you guys do copy it down just like this so you guys can get this rare build name all right so the close shot with this build we're gonna be bubbling this all the way up to a 76 as you guys see at 75 you get pretty good bad it's silver fearless silver fast twitch silver masher and if you go up to 76 it's an extra badge point so do that now driving layup we're going to be going all the way up to an 88 as you guys know it's a two-way slash you're probably thinking this build does have really good finishing and it obviously does we're going up to an 88 layup which means you unlock long athlete layup package you unlock every single layup package with an 88 layup so you don't have to worry about not having a layup package plus you get gold fearless finisher gold acrobat 88 layup is really nice so we are going to be having that in our driving hook this build is called a two-way slasher so the minimum driving dunk you can have is a 93 93 is definitely not bad because as you guys know 92 does give you the elite driving contact dunks the 93 gold post drives and it gives you pretty much all these finishing badges on gold but personally i decided to bump this all the way up to a 96 as you guys know a 96 dunk you do unlock hall of fame limitless takeoff which is absolutely insane it triggers those free throw line dunks way more often with having hall of fame limitless takeoff so personally i'm gonna go 96 now the lowest you can go is 93 if you don't really care for having hall of fame limitless takeoff then just go 93 dunk now some people are probably saying oh if you're gonna go 96 dunk why don't you just go 99 for the hall of fame slithery hall of fame post in my opinion it's super crazy expensive i don't really think it's worth it the most i would ever go 96 for the hall of fame limos takeoff if you guys want the 99 dunk you definitely could but you guys are have to change something around my personal recommendation is either 93 dunk or 96 i'm gonna just go 96 and then staying dunk put this up to a 54 as you guys see it doesn't lock another badge point so you have 18 finishing badges obviously as you guys see limos takeoff is a tier 3 badge for you to be able to get it on hall of fame you need 18 finishing badges, which you do have with this build now i was to tell you guys so as you guys see all these good badges are tier 3 so for you to be able to get all three of these you either need the double core badge pattern so you can core limos take off and then something else like slithery or posterizer or if you don't have the double core badge patterns you need 24 finishing badges so if you have plus six badges core limitless take off and then once you core limitless take off you can run slithery and then you need plus six badges to get posterizer so you need 24 total badges and keep in mind that's if you core limitless take off hall of fame now if you were to core posterizer or slithery you would need 25 badges just throwing that out there for you guys all right man now moving on to the shooting with this build man mid-range shot is going to be a 71 that should be pretty good 71 is definitely more than enough to shoot consistently mid ranges and three point shot like i did say earlier in the video man three point shot cannot be higher than a 79 for you to be able to get this build name 79 is definitely not bad as long as you have a pretty good jump shot and as you guys see we still do have 16 shooting badges so you should be able to shoot just fine with this plus we did get 16 shooting badges just in case you do want to run silver catch and shoot and then if you core silver catch and shoot then maybe you can get one of these other bronze badges of the tier threes or you can just run something else but i just wanted 16 just in case you do want that silver catch and shoot and then free throw bump this all the way up to a 73 just in case you want to use this build and the record the pro m 73 free throw is definitely way more than enough to be able to shoot consistently at the free throw line so we're doing that all right man moving on to the playmaking with this build man the pass accuracy is going to be a 75 this doesn't lock us lebron james pass style the best passing style in the game if you're making a guard build i would never recommend going below this because if you don't have LeBron James pass style, your passes are going to be pretty slow. So make sure if you make a guard build, only go 75 bare minimum. You could even go up like 80. Just make sure you don't go too high on this pass accuracy or else it is going to give you a completely different build name. Ball handle, we're maxing this out. Now, I was to tell you guys, you guys know 89 ball handle does give you Hall of Fame quick first step. You're probably thinking, oh, I'm fine with 87, 87 gold quick first step, gold clamp breaker and stuff like that. I actually tried doing this. I really don't really think it's worth it though because you're 6'8". If you're going 6'8", you might as well get the Hall of Fame quick first step. I even tried it though. If you go 87 and you don't 
don't go 89 it's going to give you a completely different build name so you actually have to go 89 ball handle for the hall of fame quick first step which is definitely nice i mean if you're six eight might as well you might as well take advantage of that and the speed of ball as you guys know you don't need anything higher than a 75 that's all you need for the michael jordan dribble style it's not speed ball that determines how fast your player speed boots it's acceleration all right y'all man now moving on to the defense with this build man this build is a two-way slasher it's a two-way build so it is gonna have some pretty good defense our interior defense we're bumping this all the way up to a 71 as you guys see you do unlock another badge point that's why we're stopping at 71 premier defense here is a very key thing you're probably thinking let's go to 86 silver clamps and gold challenger as you guys know but for you to be able to get the two-way slasher build name you do have to go at least to an 87 87 does unlock you hall of fame menace but i figure if you're gonna go 87 you might as well go 88 for the extra badge point so we're going 88 perimeter defense and the steel we're bumping this all the way up to the 85 so this build is gonna have a pretty decent steel as well as you guys see it unlocks silver glove and silver interceptor 85 steel is definitely a really good rating and then for the block for this build we're gonna be putting this all the way up to a 75 as you guys see you do unlock another badge point for 75 you get bronze anchor and at 75 you do unlock gold chase down ours now i was gonna show you guys in case you guys don't think that's high enough i'm gonna show you guys at the very end we're gonna come back to this if you guys want to have an 88 block silver anchor and hall of fame chase down ours like i said stay tuned i'm gonna show you guys how you guys can do that but for now we're going 75 block 75 block is definitely not bad you're still 6 8 you get gold chase down ours and like i said bronze anchor you still will be able to get pretty good stops in the paint and chase down blocks obviously like i said you're still tall bronze anchor should definitely be more than enough and the rebound we're bumping this all the way up to a 70 as you guys know it doesn't lock bronze rebound chaser just in case somebody misses you do have that rebound chaser to be able to get your own rebounds which is definitely really nice all right man moving on to the physicals with this build man we're gonna be putting our speeds all the way up to a 78 max out the acceleration like i said it's going to be an 86 with gym rat this determines how fast your player can speed boost on any point guard build you make you always do want to have that acceleration max it's the most important stat for point guards it determines how fast your player can speed boost so make sure you guys do max out that acceleration and then the vertical as you guys see we do have a 96 driving now for you to be able to get those elite driving contact dunks you do need an 82 vertical make sure you guys do that and the rest of these attributes are going to be going on to stamina we're going to be having a 90 stamina which is definitely all you need and as you guys can see man this is the build right here 18 finishing 16 shooting 20 playmaking and 20 defensive like i said this is the two-way slasher build now you guys are probably thinking when you heard the name two-way slasher oh this build probably is just a pure inside probably just defense playmaking and finishing you probably thought zero shooting but you are wrong this build is pretty much a catfish when they see the name two-way slasher they're gonna assume that you can't really shoot you still do have 16 shooting badges and you do have some pretty good shooting stats like i said if you have a good jump shot for this low three-point rating you can definitely look some up there are some pretty good jump shots you have a pretty much an 83 ball you have a 71 mid-range and 16 shooting badges you should be able to shoot pretty consistently with this now what does it tell you guys man now like i said if you guys did want to have an 88 block for silver anchor and hall of fame chase down i'm gonna show you guys how to get this right now now the 88 layup here's the thing we're taking our layup all the way down to an 80 it's not terrible because as you guys see we only lose one finishing badge point but the key bad is you lose you lose gold fearless finisher you lose gold acrobat and you also lose long athlete layup package which is by far the best layup package in the game if you're fine just going down to 80 layup 80 layup's not bad you still do have zach levine and joey layup packages people say that zach levine is the best layup package in the game besides long athlete people usually say zach levine is because it offers the most bang for your buck you only have to go 80 layup opposed to an 88 but like i said take your layup down to an 80 and then the rest of these attributes can go on the block as you guys see now you have an 88 block so you're getting silver anchor at 87 and if you go up to 88 hall of fame chase down ours now silver anchor is really nice you can stop centers in the paint no problem if you guys are fine sacrificing that 88 layup go ahead and do that take it down to an 80 and then you guys have silver anchor 88 block hall of fame chase down artists i'm just throwing that out there for you guys personally i think i'm gonna go with the 75 block i think the 75 block is definitely more than enough and since you are a two-way slasher you definitely do want to have some more finishing badges on gold like acrobats a good badge and souls fearless and you definitely do want to have all the layup packages like i said you're a two-way slasher so i think it's important you have all those but if you want silver anchor and hall of fame chase down take the layup down to an 80 and then you can get it right there all right man now moving on to the takeovers with this build man as you guys see we get slasher shot creator playmaker and lockdown defender now if you guys go up to 88 block you took the layup down to an 80 you are going to get rim protector takeover i'm not sure exactly what takeover it is going to replace I, my assumption would probably be either shot creator or playmaker just throwing that out there now personally you do have a 96 driving duck as you guys know you definitely do want to take advantage of that you have every single driving contact duck in the game you have hall of fame limos takeoff i'm personally going to recommend you guys throwing a slashing takeover easy blow buys is the best slashing takeover in the game so we're going to be throwing on easy blow buys and then secondary it's completely up to you since this builds a two-way i think it's only right you live up to the build name two-way slasher so we're gonna go slasher primary and then lockdown secondary the best lockdown takes are perimeter badge drop and extreme clamps i personally like extreme clamps better i know some people like perimeter badge drop because it lowers their implacable and it's easier to rip them it's completely up to you personally i'm just gonna go extreme clamps and as you guys can see man this build is similar to paul george og ananobi and Jalen brown like i did tell you guys man this build is called a two-way slasher pretty rare build right here let me know what you guys 
think about this build in the comment section below, man. And like I have been saying in my past couple of videos, if you guys have any other rare builds you guys would like me to make, please let me know down in the comment section below, and I will shout you out right when the video starts. And just keep in mind, after this video, Season 7 is going to be launching, so I'm going to be bringing you guys the best Season 7 builds. Make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.